Learning and Education by the Rocky Brainstormers. Many teachers struggle today to reach their students. Students just don't seem to be engaged like they used to. Indiana University's high school survey of student engagement, which surveyed 110 high schools in 26 states, found that a staggering 67% of students claim to be bored in class every day. Is that what they're hearing? And if so, what can we do about it? One idea is to throw technology at them. However, when not structured properly and monitored, oftentimes students will just go off task. They continually sneak off to MySpace and other social networking sites because it's relevant to them. Hmm, so that gives us an idea. What if teachers could leverage the popularity of social networking sites to teach content in an engaging and relevant way? Fortunately, we already have Ning. Ning utilizes the popularity of social networking sites, allowing teachers to, con uh, to teach content effectively. So what is a social networking site, you might ask? The, de uh, the state of Michigan's Department of Information Technology says they are websites that allow users to build online profiles, share information, pictures, blog entries, music clips, etc. Facebook is the most popular for professionals and adults. They allow you to share photos, personal information, um, your friends can leave comments on your page, and you can give updates to your friends, which your friends can then comment on. Here's an example of a group Facebook, or a Facebook group for students at Full Sail University. MySpace was the original popular social networking site, and MySpace music still is huge for independent artists who can share photos, videos, and even their music with visitors to their site. By pressing play, they can hear it and see if they like it. Also, they can share their outside web page, gig information, and reach their audience by um, posting blogs. WeWorld is popular with kids because you can create a cartoon avatar. I made one of myself just to see what it was like, and I gotta admit, it was pretty fun. Note the video camera. QZone is a social networking site in China, and they claim that there's over 150 million users who update their profile at least once a month, making it the largest networking site in the world. So it may be obvious, but let's go ahead and look. Why do kids love social networking sites so much? Dana Boyd, who does spell her name with lowercase letters, says, quote, social network sites like MySpace and Facebook serve as network publics. As with unmediated places like parks and malls, youth use network publics to gather, socialize with their peers, and make sense of and help build the culture around them. So you may still be wondering, what is Ning? Ning freely hosts social networking sites you can create and customize your very own private or public name. Mm, that's a good question. Let's take a look at a couple examples of how it's being used in K-12 classrooms, as well as a tool for, for professional development for educators. Merle Hall, a middle school teacher in Missouri, says he uses a Ning site, middleschoolcomputers.ning.com, as a way of extending his classroom to the online format. Quote, It is amazing how effective this is. As of last count, I had every student in the middle school's members, about a dozen parents, and about a dozen teachers. Project Growth was an enrichment program for Title I students in Sacramento, California. Students learned how to grow, harvest, and sell organic crops, as well as create very, various types of multimedia projects. Aning allowed them to actively share their experiences and projects with their peers. And these activities included participating in discussion forums, uploading their photos and videos that they created, um, maintaining a public profile, adding blog entries, which included links to the internet as well as photos that they took. They got to comment on each other's work. And as you can tell by these entries, uh, the Ning really was powerful and meant a lot and helped the kids really feel like they were able to connect with one another. As a professional development tool, Diane Schaffhauser writes, quote, Ning has been widely used as a professional development tool, unquote. 
It allows professionals to ask questions, share resources, and collaborate with one another on projects and ideas. A quick Google search finds almost 10 million hits for Ningen Education. A few popular sites are Ningen Education, the Global Education Collaborative, Classroom 2.0, and Making Curriculum Pop. Christine Greenhouse states, quote, social networking services allow many-to-many -many broadcasting so that classroom ideas, questions, or puzzles can be quickly circulated through a vast network, putting others' problem-solving skills and political acumen to work for you, unquote. I feel you could easily argue that a Ning supports these five intelligences. It supports linguistic intelligence via blog posts, comments on others' work, and discussion forums. Logical intelligence by allowing users to navigate the interface and create tutorial videos possibly that they could upload. Uh, spatial intelligence would be supported if you are using the photo and video components to an ing. Interpersonal skills and intelligences are nurtured as you collaborate with one another on the ning. And intrapersonal skills are developed as you learn how to represent yourself in an online community. Let's take a look. In brain-based learning, a new paradigm of teaching, Eric Jensen shares these 10 points, uh, among many more, that he says have been proven to improve learning in students and all people. One is relevance, high engagement, multimodal input, strong peer support, choice, moderate to high learning, I mean, I'm sorry, moderate to high challenge, mutual respect or caring community, balancing novelty with predictability, frequent feedback, enjoy and celebration. And you could, you could easily connect each one of these to the use of a name. With all the glory comes some concerns. Steve Hargaden says, quote, Social networking sites have worried many educators and parents because they often bring with them outcomes that are not positive, such as narcissism, gossip, wasted time, friending, hurt feelings, ruined reputations, and sometimes unsavory, even dangerous activities. It seems likely that the phrase social networking carries so much baggage that it would actually impede its productive use in the context of education. I feel as educators we could also add bullying, inappropriate content, and anonymity um, for students' online safety as concerns. Nancy Willard writes that when teens operate anonymously behind screen names, they perceive themselves as invisible and untouchable. But I think that that quote, as well as these top nine, can be negated by a teacher who is actively monitoring the private Ning community. Merle Hall says that for, uh, for anonymity purposes, that we stress internet safety and therefore do not allow first names, ages, locations, phone numbers, personal pictures, etc. So that is a very, very strict route. Um, however, it does provide um, a high level of internet safety. Also, Ning, allow, Ning has privacy settings that allow you to um, set them as you see fit. So, in conclusion, Frank Gannis says, quote, Clearly there is a need for an online learning platform that securely integrates social media tools within a social learning context, unquote. Norton says, quote, I have found the Ning to be as flexible as its part of speech. I have grown to use the term as a noun. Let's meet on the Ning, a verb. Ning me and let me know if you'll be coming to the study session. And an adjective. Do we have Ning homework? Unquote. Finally, de Blasi reminds us, quote, It takes two minutes to set this up, and it has unlimited possibilities. Unquote. So the only question left is, what will you do with Ning?